Yo, what is up guys? And welcome back to another Big Code Hours video. Today we're going to be making a IP network monitor. So we're gonna be looking at all the IPs on your network. We're gonna be making a actually web browser application that is going to show you all the IPs that are currently on your network in real time. So let's get to it. I should probably also say sorry for not posting recently. I've just been busy with like my masters and stuff. I mean, kind of, I've also just been like, kind of like lazy on making a video, but yeah. <laughs> but no, for real, I want to start making some more videos, be a little more on top of it. So yeah, I'll try to be doing better on that. But anyways, let's hop into it. today's video. We're going to be working with a application Python. Well, it doesn't have to, I don't know if it's necessarily always Python, but you can use it in Python. It has a library and it's called Scapy or Scaffy, however you want to um, pronounce it. And yeah, so essentially it lets us do a ton of stuff uh, on the network. Like you can manipulate packets and um, send packets. I don't know. There's like a ton of different things that I'm not going to go into in this video, but we're definitely going to use it for some pretty cool stuff like monitoring IP addresses and whatnot. So yeah, let's get into it, guys. So I'm going to be doing this video a little bit differently today. I kind of want to just like walk you guys through like what I did. Just more of a, I don't know, not like a vlog, but more of just a overview type might be easier to follow anyways this is me looking at the documentation for scapy or scappy whatever you want to call it so yeah it wasn't helpful <laughs> yeah i wish i could say i was joking <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> so we start we're starting off by putting some uh just importing some modules for this scapy library that we have to install on your computer so it's just pip install scapy anyways i'm fast forwarding through this because it's um kind of just like a lot and you guys can easily like pause and follow along however you want to, but essentially that was me going on the command prompt and grabbing my um, IP address. Um, what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna actually enter it in as like the subnet. Um, and you'll see here later that that interface is going to be whatever your um, subnet is. And we'll get there in a little bit, but yeah, essentially a lot of this code is, is a little complex and it's more just like stuff that I got from documentation and from outside sources. Um, I don't, fully comprehend honestly what everything in here is doing, but mainly it's just um, taking your subnet IP address and then I think just pinging all the IP addresses in that subnet to see like which of them are active and then also grabbing the MAC address of those and then like filtering it through. So I put it in a nice like neat little function that way it's like a little easier. And again, I'm just grabbing that subnet, uh, start putting it at the dot zero instead of dot anything else because we wanna make sure that that's like actually our subnet and then it's gonna run through all the IPs there, as you can see. Ran a test one and um, it's pulling up all the IPs with their uh, like MAC addresses as well, uh, which is very cool. And yeah, there's me trying to ping stuff for literally no reason. I have no idea why I'm doing that. So <laughs> just ignore that. <laughs> but yeah, so let's keep going. So um, yeah, again, I'm just gonna print it out for you guys in a easy to understand way or like a just a way that is clear and obvious um, because before it was just in a JSON and that wasn't like super easy to actually like read and stuff. So yeah, you can watch me do that. It's really exciting. Yeah, I don't know why I try to space that out so well. <laughs> I literally don't even use that. I'm like spacing it out like it matters or something. Yeah, watch me try to fix that waste of time, whatever. But yeah, so I've I finally got it looking like it's somewhat like I want it to. Okay, so we're gonna put it in a loop here and it's just gonna keep refreshing like essentially those IPs. Um, so so every like second, it's just gonna go uh, through and refresh the IP addresses that are on your network currently. So that dot .124 IP, that's actually my phone and watch me turn my Wi-Fi off on my phone. See how it refreshed there. So that was, so it refreshing there and it getting rid of that was me turning the Wi-Fi off. And so by doing that, like is no longer connected on the network. So it refreshed and it caught that, which is really cool. Okay, so on this next part, essentially we built the um, application. Now we're gonna connect it to Flask. Cause if you don't know what Flask is, I've got some tutorials on it. It's pretty much just a, it's just a, um, it's, it's almost just a tutorial. It's just a server that runs on, um, that runs through Python. So you can run Python scripts like through your server really easily. So it, it's a cool tool to use because it's not um, it's not too difficult to work with. As you saw, I just pulled up the documentation and you install like just pip install flask and then you can literally just 
run it immediately from like any URL in your local host. People use it on real servers too, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, essentially what I'm just doing is I'm pulling from that network manager file. I'm making some changes on there. Again, all this stuff will be on GitHub, so you guys don't worry about like frantically trying to type as fast as this. I'll have all the code up uh, in, a, in a really easy to grab format for you all. But yeah, I'm pretty much just using that other file. I'm just importing from my network monitor and grabbing um, just like the important parts um, of it that we need here. So yeah, just grabbing the IP and the um, and the MAC address. Um, and again, if you don't know what those are, the IP is the address assigned to um, to all the computers on the network. Um, those can actually change, but then you got your MAC address, which is actually the physical uh, address of the machine, and that will stay the same. I mean, you can spoof and change your MAC address, but that doesn't usually happen unless you are purposely trying to do it. Anyways, what I'm adding right here, that little H1 tag, that's just a little HTML, because right, this is running in a browser. So as you can tell, oh, yeah, ignore that. <laughs> so as you can tell, um, when you when you run, HTML code, right? It's loading in a web page, so it's going to load as HTML. So that H1 tag, I made the color dark green, and uh, it's showing up as that. Uh, that's me looking things up. So yeah, again, it's it's just kind of cool. You guys can like mess with this and kind of um, create what you want out of it, but it's definitely like a good um, starting point at least to to go from. So yeah, I'm just adding some HTML, kind of cleaning it up, um, making it look a little nicer. Um, and as you can see, it's actually now when I refresh it's pulling from it's pulling from that data um, it's pulling those IPs in um, yeah I'm looking up just an auto refresh there's probably a better way to do it you could probably do it in Python too and make it refresh like that but essentially what that does is it makes the web page refresh every second so I'm not refreshing it here it's doing it on its own and if you notice um, the IP that's ending in 124 should pop up see it if you, I don't know if you saw it or not but IP 124 popped up there, and that is my phone connecting to the Wi-Fi. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, it's an it's just an IP monitor. It'll just um, it'll catch like all the IPs uh, as they come up. So so whenever you a new device connects or a device uh, disconnects, you'll be able to see it. Uh, you can really just run that in your browser as long as you have your um, your the correct like uh, gateway. So right that that ten uh, two oh two dot nine six dot zero was the like subnetter gateway that I had to like put in there. Um, that way you could actually like follow and track and get all those. But yeah, you guys can easily make this and run it on any uh, Wi-Fi that you're connected to, and it should be able to track all the IPs that are connected to it at a time and see them jumping off and whatnot. It's pretty cool. I mean, you can do that in uh, command prompt and other stuff, but it's cool because it's auto refresh. It's in Python. It's fun to make. So. Hey, if you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Let me know how the uh, format of this video was for you. I, I know it's kind of different, and I don't know if it's the best or not, but I'm just kind of playing around with some stuff and to see what you guys like. So again, if you stayed around uh, for the whole time, I really appreciate it. All of my subscribers, you guys are awesome. Um, you guys have really been supporting me uh, lately. Even though I haven't posted, you haven't unsubscribed, and I appreciate that. Um, so you guys have a great day. Have fun with this. It'll be on GitHub. Go ahead and mess around, and even show me what you do. Send me links or... Or, uh, or uh, just like comment what you like made out of it. That'd be awesome. Peace out, guys.